The vice chairman doesn't seem to get the policy because he thinks no passes are going to be taken away. The passes in terms of free access to the leisure facility will be taken away from a great majority of people who currently receive them. Those free passes which entitle you to free access to the facilities will be taken away. I'm afraid, Councillor Doughty, you do not understand your own policy because obviously it wasn't fully explained in the 18 lines in the Cabinet report. Now, I think Kev Hannigan, in the story he told us in relation to his service in the RAF and that very frightening experience in the former Yugoslav Republic, really highlights what type of mentality many veterans have. The fact that that gentleman just got back up and went back to sleep after that traumatic event. The veterans do not, as Kev said, wear their conditions on their sleeves. Why should we force them to do that? Force them to say to this council, I'm here, I've got an issue, I've got a medical ailment. Why don't we just let the, the scheme proceed as it does, considering that we won't apparently make any economic benefit to this and allow all existing veterans of our armed forces to proudly just use our leisure facilities and give them that token of appreciation. So that's my summary, Chair. Thank you very much. joined the TA and they join the TA for a week and then they get a dishonourable discharge because they do not attend. They are not serving our country. They are not serving our country. They are not going anywhere. Those lads who are serving our country are being punished because people like them are misusing the service. They are getting free passes. They are actually in jobs, most of them. And why should they get free passes? And some of our lads think they're not entitled to get free passes. Lads and girls who serve their country. And Kevin, you are entitled to your free pass because you have got depression. And I did try to explain that to you when you emailed me, but you never got back to me. So that one's closed. But all I can say is what we're trying to do is to try and stop the abuse that's being used. And unfortunately, there are some people from outside the borough who are using our free services. And I don't think that's fair when we've got a lot of vulnerable people out there who do not use our services because they cannot afford them. So I would like you to accept this new policy for what it stands for, and that's to give the people who deserve it their free passes and the people who don't deserve it, who've been abusing our system, the chance to have those passes taken off. Thank you.
then address satisfactorily. And then, secondly, we've also heard that the current policy was put together in a piecemeal way. There was a different cohesion about it, that it hasn't ever been properly reviewed in the last few years. Um, it's currently open to people who are not rural residents, and uh, it doesn't take account of other groups of workers who also uh, risk their lives in their everyday work and who serve their country. And also, uh, evidence we've heard um, of the policy being abused. So, with that in mind, I would say I move that the decision of the uh, cabinet member is of the cabinet is upheld, and I move that as a recommendation. I have a second for that, please. Thank you. 